Hey Taurus, welcome to your love and romance reading for September 2020. This is going to be a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and of course Venus. I know a lot of you like to check out your love uh, sign, uh, I'm sorry, check out your Venus sign when it comes to love. So we're setting the intention for Taurus Venus as well. Now, if you are sick and tired of love readings, you don't even know why you clicked on a love reading right now. You are sick and tired of all of us tarot readers doing nothing but love readings. I want to remind you guys that every single week, every week, I do a reading on this channel for each zodiac sign Focusing on everything other than love, career, finances, blockage removal, spirituality, spiritual development, whatever spirit wants to talk about that doesn't have to do with love and romance. So if you want something other than love and romance, be sure that you check that out as well in the weekly readings. So without further ado, my lovely Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, we're going to see... We're gonna see what's going on for you. Alrighty. Some of you might be a little bit nervous. Like you might be around somebody who's like kind of like making you nervous or making you giddy or put like, you know, you might have like butterflies in your tummy because <laughs> my hands got really jittery when I was trying to lay down the cards. I felt like I was like, Ugh. not like a nervous, like a terrified, fearful nervous, but like, like I said, like, like a giddiness or like a butterfly kind of thing. But let's see, let's see what the cards have to say. Your first card here, my darlings is five of trees right so there could be a nervousness right the creator of this deck has this listed as limitation five of trees is going to be what some of you maybe who are familiar with traditional tarot um know as five of pentacles now five of pentacles gets a bad rap right five of pentacles gets the gets this rap of like Oh, it's like a, a shutout kind of card or it's like a, a somebody's being ignored kind of card. Um, but five of pentacles has a very deep meaning to it, even though it might be an uncertain time where there might be limitations, right? Like, you know, I know a lot of people are looking for work right now, or there could be concerns around finances, or there could be uncertainty about a living arrangement or a living environment where you're just not quite sure what tomorrow is going to bring. The message of five of pentacles is that in that uncertainty, the right relationships become stronger. Okay. Um, you begin to really understand the true meaning of connection. Right. And so, you know, you might feel like people have turned their back on you. You might feel like you're kind of going out into the unknown here, but it also is going to indicate that you're finding soul family along the way and you're finding the people who like you for you. Right. Taurus, you guys are a sign uh, who are known for uh, or kind of you guys, you guys get stereotyped as like a sign who uh, likes to work hard and likes to have nice things and is going to take their career really seriously and is going to really like to have financial comforts, right? So that being put in mind, you know, this uncertainty might not be that bad, right? It could just be that you're used to really excelling in that area and now things maybe are not moving as... Um, you know, uh, effortlessly as you would like. And so the fear or the nervousness could be about, well, you know, we're kind of having to budget here. We're kind of having to, you know, kind, kind of be a little bit cautious. And so you might have concerns about, you know, how your partner or significant other might see you. And this card would say that actually you all could quite frankly be, become a lot closer Okay, become a lot closer. It can be relationships that become stronger through challenging times or uncertain times. And gosh, man, are we in uncertain times right now, financially or not, we are in some shifting times, right? Uh, it's all happening to bring us to, to better times and to awakening and, and, and better, uh, better way of life. But in the meantime, 
you know, there's some uncertainty. And so Taurus, a lot of you might be uh, drawing closer uh, to someone or finding the right people for you through that. Wow. Okay. So the next card here is eight of wands. Okay. Or eight of stars. And so this is going to be communication and very fast moving energy, communication and very fast moving energy. Um, I feel Taurus, I know this might sound really kind of off the wall, like very random. Okay. Uh, and I, I almost feel like as I'm about to say this, like I feel really emotional energy. So I think what I'm about to say might bring tears to your eyes for some of you. Like it might be really like what you have hoped to hear, what you really wanted to hear. But something about the card, and as I'm looking at the images in this card, it makes me feel as though what is happening is you've been working really hard because you've been trying to demonstrate your love and your value by, you know, working hard and, and bringing in material stability. Okay, like that's been your love language or that's been one way that you've been trying to to show love or you've been working really hard to like kind of support yourself and you've been wanting to go into relationships where you don't come across as somebody who's being a gold digger or somebody who's being a burden. Like you've worked really hard about that. You've wor really worked hard for that independence or that stability or that dependability in that way in a excuse me, in a relationship. Um, I talk with my hands here and I'm like knocking things over. And so um, I feel like this eight of wands is indicating that you are making progress through these uncertain times, like things are moving along. But more importantly, I feel like someone is going to say to you, like they, they see this about you. They realize this about you. They appreciate this about you. They see how hard you work. They see how much of yourself you give. They see how like generous you are. They see how um, like reliable you're wanting to be. And I feel for a lot of you, you've never gotten credit for that. And so when somebody is seeing that and they're giving you credit for that, like you're feeling very emotional. You're feeling very emotional um, where you're like, wow, like someone actually sees. Somebody actually sees how hard I'm trying. Somebody actually sees the effort that I'm making. And so I feel like this is going to be very healing. Right. For many of you, you might be moving along with a relationship where you feel like, wow, this person really actually sees me. They really actually get who I am. You know, maybe you feel like people have wanted to be with you because they've seen you as someone who's stable financially. Or maybe you feel like people have wanted to be with you because they think you're very sexy or attractive. They think you have a really great body or a really great face. Or maybe you feel like people don't give you a chance because you think that, you know, they don't like your face or they don't like your body. Like people don't, you might think people don't give you a chance. But I feel like someone is like coming in and they're actually seeing you, right? Like they're actually seeing you and they're seeing your beauty in every way, inside and out. And they're seeing your intelligence and, and, and they're really taking the time to get to know you. And I feel for a lot of you, it's like, wow, like you're like someone can actually see me like I'm actually like like me, me, myself, I'm actually visible, right? Like that's the energy that I'm feeling. Your next card here, Taurus, is six of hearts, right? And so this is listed as the past. And so this could be very much a uh, six of cups. And so this could be somebody from the past resurfacing as you're moving forward. Now, these are very uncertain times. And maybe what's happening for a lot of you is this person who's, you know, telling you, Taurus, you know, I see you, I recognize you, I appreciate you. It could be someone resurfacing that didn't appreciate you in the past. And now that times are getting hard and now that the world is so very uncertain, you may be on their mind, right? Now they're looking for that substance. Now they're looking for that connection. There could be a reconciliation for some of you. Um, I do feel for some of you, Taurus, uh, you're going to turn this person away. 
because you're going to kind of feel like they might be in a darker place or you might kind of feel like, you know what, that ship has sailed. Like, I really needed that validation. I really needed to hear this person uh, admit that I've done a lot for them or admit that, you know, I'm, uh, you know, a quality partner, but that ship has sailed. I feel like a lot of you are in that energy as well, where you're just like, nope, I can't like, it might be more of like a closure thing for some of you. Six of hearts for other ones of you, sometimes six of hearts or six of cups for me can also indicate a bit of like, a, um, going back through your childhood. So this relationship, as you're becoming um, more aligned with people who appreciate you, with people who want to be with you for the right reasons, uh, your inner child, the part of you that maybe felt like love wasn't conditional or felt like, you know, you kind of had to be a certain way or perform a certain way, that inner child might be resurfacing a lot with this Six of Cups. And uh, you're like, you know, yes, you know, like, like, like you're loved, like you're deserving of love, like, yes, you're good enough. Yes, you're good enough. So there could be some, like a lot of surfacing of the inner child, uh, but in a very healing, healing kind, kind of way for a lot of you. Your next card here, Taurus. Ooh, speaking of child, we have the Empress. Okay. Now I'm about to say something, Taurus. And before I say it, I want to make something very clear before people like rush to schedule a private reading with me because of what I'm about to say, because I know this is a hot topic for a lot of people. I cannot predict pregnancy. Okay. I'm not, I, I, that's one of the most common questions that I get. And people will say, you know, I just want to know, am I going to have a child? Am I going to have kids one day? That's not a question that I can answer. Now, historically, right? Historically, traditionally, the Empress card can absolutely indicate fertility, pregnancy, and motherhood. Okay. So for some of you, love life has been blocked because you've been giving too much and you've been really trying to perform. And so you have attracted takers or selfish or greedy people. You've attracted the wrong energies. And now that you're in this energy of, you know, uncertainty, uncertain times, you're really learning who has your back, you know, who, you know, people are, the right people are seeing you for who you are and appreciating you. And this could be very healing to the inner child. So whatever blocks that you had around like being loved and finding love and, and being ready to like have a healthy family or to start a family, that stuff is getting healed for some of you in September. And you're actually going to be able to move into the energy of like, you know, uh, you know, uh, conceiving and parenting a child with someone. For other ones of you, you may be parenting or nurturing or soothing your inner child. Because like I said, for a lot of you, something about the relationship is really triggering the inner child. And so that inner child that like, it's like you're getting reassurance as an adult. You're getting reassurance because now you have someone supportive in your life. Now you have someone who sees your efforts and who appreciates you and is like praising you for them. And when the inner child is coming up, like, really, really, like, really, like, I'm, I'm doing a good job. I'm really, I'm, I'm good, you know? And so like, you're kind of, as you're receiving this reassurance, you're in turn also reassuring and comforting that inner child that, yeah, I see how hard you're trying. You're doing such a good job, you know? So there's, there's this like trickling down of, of healing, I feel, which is going to be very transformative for a lot of you. And I feel like, again, this might be very random, but to some of you, you're going to be like, oh my God, what beautiful confirmation. You've been wanting to embrace a more creative side of yourself and so this partner is being accepting of this, you know, maybe you're in an existing relationship and you lost your job and you've been really worried about how your partner's going to feel about it. And your partner might say, you know what, honey, 
what better time than now than to pursue your dream than to pursue your creativity so there might be a supportiveness here in, in like being your creativity or you might if you're single might be meeting someone that's creating this uh, energetic space in your life where you're feeling secure enough to explore your creativity and, and your 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 desires to kind of go after projects and ideas and and uh you know things that you've been wanting to try for a while so beautiful beautiful energy taurus very powerful energy again be sure to watch your moon sign and rising sign or your venus sign a lot of people swear by that if you're not sure what your planetary placements are um or if you want to get like a comparison like a love compatibility for a love interest that you might have your eye on or someone you're getting to know uh, the folks at Truly Divine are still offering the very, very, very generous 30% off. They're already very reasonable prices for as many different reports as you want to uh, get. So if you want to get a report that breaks down your planetary placements and your charts, your birth chart and all that good stuff, but you also want to get a love compatibility comparison or Maybe you want to compare a few different options, you know, um, you know, you can use the discount code as many times as you want. So that'll be linked in the description. That is separate from me. I don't do astrology. I'm not an astrologer. I'm not affiliated with Truly Divine. But if you want a card reading, if you want a card reading from me, you can click on the Calendly link and schedule a card reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget the weekly videos and don't forget to check out the daily messages on Amethyst Angelite, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Have a wonderful month, my dears. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the weeklies. Take care.